How's it going guys? Phantom Cave here with the latest giant size Phantom comic from Few number 11 and it has obviously the Phantom, the Raven, Panther, Catman, Sir Falcon and the Shadow. And it's pretty pretty good. Damn good. Next issue is going to be a whole entire issue of the Shadow Shadow extra 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 and they're gonna be few will be putting a new character into the few universe. Yeah, they're gonna try and get this character thing going on, and we don't know what the character will be until it comes out. The comic comes out in probably four months or so. So the first. First comic of it is a short seven pager of Charlton story. It's a living legend and it's in colour. The artist and the writer are unknown as to the fact that they don't know who read it. There's there is long thought to be drawn by Frank Mac McLaughlin or something like that. And yeah, but he personally denied that. So let's have a look at the comic. So these Charlton stories, they fit a lot of art. They fit a lot of art in a lot of spaces and make the picture a lot more bigger than it usually is. Than it really is. And, but they're still good stories, a bit good art and good stories. Just that, it's just a bit short, just a bit short. But that's how Charlton actually ran. And so this story, the Raven, is actually very popular amongst the giant size fans. The new series that they started uh, back in 2017 or something like that. And this one is number one, number five, featuring Man from Dartmoor. Now this story is basically a conflict escapes, tries and eludes Raven and then tries to trick him and then gets done for it done for and yeah and the police in this story think that Raven actually has actually done something wrong which in most of the comics he hasn't actually done something wrong he's mostly gone and done his own thing and trying to save people's lives and all that sort of stuff I guess that's what a vigilante is supposed to do next month you will have the spine chilling ex experience of following the raven to the ruins of stonehenge the place that was old and shrouded in mystery even when the romans first came to britain so this next story is the panther number 10 this story i like Art is a bit hard to read there if you if you're watching this a bit hard to read your wording but I guess that's because of the comic and yeah it's the these stories by like people like John Dixon John Dixon Peter Chapman and people like that and the other few guys that do the stories and the art I know that Peter Chapman isn't, I don't think he's alive, or John Dixon might not be alive, but they still make good stories when they did. And the art is very, very good. Now, in this story, the Earl of a big fancy guy and millionaire guy, he discovers a very, very valuable collection of gold, jewels, and stuff like that but then they there's a it, the word gets out that it's that a collection of that sort and is very valuable has been discovered and so that a criminal organization 
then gets together and tries and steals it. But again, goodness prevails and we see at the end phrase of it, at the end phrase of it, that the evil guy that was was contracted to do this thing actually gets a piece of his own medicine from these two big toughies, the Tong and the Panther. Now, the next story is Adventures of Catman number five, new ongoing series back in the old days, Curse of the Diamond. Now, this story is shrouded around a diamond that some, in some cases, it's a curse to people, but in other cases, a very valuable thing, like the diamond. And so, this guy tries and steals it, but then again, tries and steals it, but then again, goodness, good people prevail, and he stops it. And that's because of Catman and Kit doing their job and saving nearly the diamond from going into the wrong hands. And also, if you have released this new giant size cover collection portfolio by Glenn Lubson, I've actually got this portfolio by having hanged it up yet. 7A4 print portfolio plus one special signed print by cover artist Glenn Lubson. $60 plus postage from comic book sh stores or directly www at www.phantomcomic.com.au The next story of Catman is number six, The Forbidden Island. This story is Sir Falcon, number four. Sir Falcon is basically the, that boy gets kidnapped, his dog gets taken away. It's pretty untruth is well, it's a pretty good story, but this guy nearly gets framed for it like in Raven and probably the nearly like the Panther, but more likely to be near the Raven. This guy is more likely to be the Raven than the Sir Falcon because in reality Placemen think he's not doing anything good to the community and then he saves the day and just Again goodness prevails in this story and which it happens in most stories these days and So this one basically boy gets kidnapped dog gets kidnapped So they reckon that so Falcon is dead and then so Falcon just beats the hell out of him and returns the boy and his dog to his home. So, last ad today is Missing These in Your Collection, issues one to three of 1956 Phantom Adventures, now worth hundreds of dollars if you can find them. Few uh, have released a new legacy series and is going for $20 from selected retail stores or online at www.phantomcomic.com.au and they also have a 60 by 108 centimeter door poster of amazing Chris Wall cover art so go check that out I'm hoping to get it for Christmas someday and hopefully we can review it so if you haven't subscribed to my channel go do that uh, like, share, comment down below if you happen to love these giant size phantom comics and keep on phantom caving. See you.